What's up guys, it's Jeremy with Jeremy Lou Photography. Thank you so much for tuning in today. I'm outside, it is hot, it is awesome, and it's summer, uh, towards the end of summer, kids start, start school in like three days. Um, but I'm uh, kind of dreading making this video because I ordered a product from a company who I was very excited about to get their stuff. They did what they said and ultimately it just didn't work out the way that I had hoped. Uh, so we're gonna talk about it right now. Right now. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Again, I'm Jeremy with Jeremy Lou Photography. Uh, if you guys are new to the channel, please consider subscribing. If the video helps you out in any way, give it a thumbs up. Click that bell for notifications. It'll tell you every time I come on. This is not photography related, although uh, if you read the description of my channel, I, I talk about me a lot, so it's about me. Um, guys, I scroll through Instagram like all of you. I scroll through Facebook like all of you, and I always get these ads. And sometimes I stop at these ads if it directly affects me, which I feel like they're always listening. So um, I was actually in the market for some cologne, weirdly enough, one day, and I kind of mentioned it. And then um, this, I've always had the spray cologne, right? So I've always used a spray cologne like normal. Uh, I always do like five sprays, one, two, three, four, five and uh, I'm done for the day. I don't have to spray anymore. The cologne lasts the entire day, and that's really what I want. I'm never the type of guy to carry cologne with me. Uh, it just doesn't work in the pockets. So uh, there's this new cologne that came out and a new style of cologne that I had never heard of before, which is the, uh, like the rub-on. So it's like wax cologne where you rub it and then you kind of put it on yourself. Um, and that is supposed to be the, the new trend of what's going on. So I was like, oh my God, this is cool. Um, so I tried it out. So the company we're talking about today is Fulton and Rourke, um, FNR, men's fragrance and grooming. So they sell cologne, uh, wax cologne, they sell testers, they sell bars of soap, and they're kind of going in that male grooming genre, which I was very excited about. I don't grow a beard. This is a, as much as you guys have ever seen. This is as much as I can grow. I can't grow anything here at all, except like literally one straggler that I have to shave off all the time. Um, so I don't necessarily invest too much into like the whole beard or man thing. I'm also Asian and I've been blessed with really good skin. So I've never actually had to like even wash my face. The only time I uh, wash my face is when shampoo gets on my face, but I specifically don't even like rub my face. And it's just a lucky thing that I've had. And I know I'm very lucky for that, um, but I don't have to invest in soaps or anything. I just use whatever I use. So now let's get into this guys. That was a long intro. Uh, Fulton and Rourke. Um, it's a really cool company. I love their concept. And uh, basically it's, it's wax cologne is what I was focused on. Um, and they have eight different uh, scents as of right now. And I bought this, this is called their starter pack. This is a little uh, messed up right now, but it's their starter pack. You open it up and you get uh, eight different fragrances to try out. And the point is that you take these out, you, uh, you rub it on yourself, you smell it, you feel what you like, and then you order the one that you want. Uh, this thing was fairly cheap. I want to say it was like 16 bucks. And then um, you actually get a code on the back of these as well. Uh, I don't know if this code still works. You can definitely try it. That gives you 16 off of your next order. Uh, there's no minimum on that order. I did find a code online and used it as well when I did order mine. So out of all of these guys, they had uh, a, like four or five I thought were amazing. Three of them I thought were like, Ugh, like gross. I don't understand it. I am a musky wearing cologne guy. I like smelling like a dude. Um, so the one that actually got to me that, that I like the most is called the Sterling, which we're going to review is tobacco, leather, and vanilla scent. Uh, it seems to be their most popular too. When I was reading on it, actually it was a, a, uh, a tester one that came out and they decided to keep it. Um, and I thought that was awesome. So that's what I got. Um, so when you order it, it comes like this. This is what you get. This is super cool. Um, it turns and this is what the cologne looks like. So if you guys can tell, I've been using it a little bit. You can kind of tell in the middle. I use this for about two weeks. Um, and all it is, is, um, you take it, you rub it and on their commercials, you rub it here. I already have cologne on. This is going to be stupid for me and rub it here. And that's all you really need. I would then go here, here, here. Now, if you guys don't know, I have a little bit of OCD on the certain things and cologne is one of those. Five is my number. And then I need to section it off around my body. So like even when I spray, I go one, two, one, two, three. If I miss that, I have to actually do it again. Um, I'm not OCD-ish in a lot of things, but there's certain things in my life that I am that I haven't in the past. So, so one, two, three, four, and five. Um, and I smell it on me right now, which is good. 
Um, side note, if you guys do buy a bunch of these, they actually have it on the back here, what they are. So, so you remember. Now, like I said before, when I put my cologne on, this goes back into the bathroom, into my little man kit, and I'm done. I'm not gonna touch it again for the rest of the day. I don't want to touch it again for the rest of the day. I'm good. I don't need to smell crazily like my cologne all day. I just wanna be able to smell it. I wanna be able to kinda do that in a couple hours and still smell it. And this is where the issue lies, guys. Um, it was gone, like hour, hour and a half, an hour from now, this is gonna be off of me. I'm not gonna smell it. Uh, I even did a little tester with my kids and my wife and say, hey, do you, what, do you, what smells better? I did this little trick on what smells better. And they're like, we can't smell anything. I didn't change anything, nothing was, there was the same scent on me and they couldn't smell anything an hour later. And that's my issue. Um, so I emailed the company and said, hey guys, I love this product, I think it's great. Uh, and what am I doing wrong? I can't smell it, did I get a bad batch or something? And they basically wrote back, uh, I can remember this, she wrote back, weird, because uh, Sterling is like our number one longest lasting scent. And then in my mind, I'm like, all right, like I'm already a kind of a liar because th what they're saying at that point. So I uh, just wrote back to them. It's not like, I mean, do the other ones only last 15 minutes and this one lasts 45 minutes? I don't understand the difference. So uh, one thing that they did tell me was they, they did mention that this is meant to be carried around. So you're supposed to carry this around in your pocket, apply as needed. Uh, I, I'm just not going to do that. I don't want this in my pocket. Also, it's wax and I feel like uh, I feel like if it's in my pocket and it's been a hot summer, it's gonna melt and I don't want this melting all over my pocket. It, it's just not feasible for me. Um, I don't need another bulgy thing in there. I mean, if you're a guy that carries like a pocket knife, a wallet, a phone, your keys, you have to add this to it, maybe chapstick. Uh, I know a lot of guys do that. I just don't and I don't want that. But they also didn't advertise that as well. They advertise as long lasting scent. They also said that this will last me four months. Um, they have a, I think they have a subscription service. I couldn't remember. I didn't sign up for it. Um, this is supposed to last me four months. In two weeks, I used half of it, uh, applying it maybe two times a day. I would do one in the morning, one in the afternoon. And then when they started telling me, I started applying it three times a day if I was home in my office and I would run out or something. So um, I also don't want to leave this in my car. Again, I don't want it to melt. And that, that just wasn't cool. So I ended up stopped using it and I went and got something else. I got a spray. Uh, that is lasting me all day. It's a brand new company, brand new spray. I mean, not a new company, a new spray that I've never used before. Using it, five spritzes, it lasts all day. Um, that's my only thing about it. So I do want to like Fulton and Rourke. I, I feel like they have a cool brand, have a cool company. It smells great. Sterling smells absolutely amazing. It's probably my favorite scent I've ever had. It's just, I'm not going to spend all this money. I want to say it was like 50 bucks uh, for this, for, for it to last me a month. Um, where I can get like a giant bottle of cologne that'll last me six months to a year, depending on how often you're spraying and how big the bottle is. So um, a couple things I think would fix this I, 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 without changing anything. I think uh, <laughs> bigger, half the price, same size, um, but just don't advertise it's going to last all day if it's not going to last all day. Uh, don't advertise it's going to last four months if it's only going to last me a month. Um, I don't wear a lot of cologne, guys. I'm not that guy that's going to walk by you that's going to just sprit and, and, uh, and uh, sprit, spritz and just have a ton of cologne on. But this was super disappointing, and I really wish uh, this was better. So uh, one thing that they did do is I kind of mentioned it on uh, social media, and they did write to me and offer me a full refund. I denied the full refund. Um, I, I, that's not what I wanted. I paid for this product. I bought this product, I wanted this product to work. It, I mean, it smells good, it's do doing what it's supposed to do, it's just not everything they promised. So I did deny the refund. Um, anyways, let, if you guys have this, let me know what you think. Also, if you have any other wax-based suggestions, I couldn't really find anything else that I liked, um, or any other companies that was focused on this, I'd love to hear it, because I do love that concept of the wax, and boom, 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 and I think it feels cool. Um, you know, even if they had like a way to, to take this that's smaller and thinner, that maybe fits in my wallet or so, I don't know. Like, I'm just not an extra person, but I can throw it in my wallet and I can take it out and rub it cool. Um, I don't know, but let me know what you guys think. Anyways, hope you're having a good day. I'll talk to you later.